I was an abused child. I want to make clear from the very get-go here that this is not a plea for attention or pity. This is sort of an inside track. This is me saying I experienced it and this is how it affected me. This video is for all the children, all the parents, all the social workers, and friends of parents, anyone who think that something is going on, or maybe even know that something is going on. And if this is a plea for anything, it's to try to prevent that sort of thing from happening wherever possible. I'm not going to go into specific situations. Perhaps I will later in other videos. Maybe I should also make it clear I don't blame my parents. I know my mother was raised in a traditional way with the old authoritarian also patriarchal but that didn't apply so much in this particular situation and not entirely sure if this happened slightly before it did become illegal to strike one's children or not entirely sure but she was raised with the idea that you had to beat certain behavior out of your offspring My father was unaware of what went on. He is and has his entire life been very much against striking one's children. He witnessed it once and I don't remember what happened after but he said that they argued vehemently afterwards and I don't know. I don't remember. That might have been the last time that she hit me, but she would slap my face. Maybe I should also say, I'm not saying that I was the most abused. Certainly not physically don't know about psychologically. Once again, this is really not about me. I'm the voice. It's the message that I hope gets through. I don't know how many times she did this, and it may not have been very many. I hope I don't offend anyone who has been struck many times or who has suffered worse physical abuse at the hands of anyone. Personally to me it doesn't matter that much how many times she did it. It was really more the psychological impact. My mother had essentially a short temper and she would feel powerless sometimes and she basically lost control of herself. This wasn't alcohol related or any other kind of substance abuse. 
she was a perfectionist and when things did not go her way she would lose her temper and sometimes she would hit me but in general it was just I spent my childhood worried about the times where she would lose her temper because I was very close to her. I was always much closer to her than I was or am to my father. And when she lost her temper, it was like the world collapsed. The world erupted into complete chaos until she calmed back down. And I would spend every ounce of energy, all of my focus, trying to keep her happy, trying to prevent this from happening even when it had nothing to do with me, even when it wasn't my fault. I mean, there were times where she wasn't even shouting at me. She wasn't... But I could hear her, and I could sense, and... That was where... All of my energy went, essentially. I, I didn't socialize, yeah, basically at all, and I was and am to this day extremely anxious. Now, those two things, my lack of socializing and my anxiety, are not solely rooted in my experiences with her, but my experiences with her are an integral part of those two aspects. I was essentially a people pleaser and focusing all of my attention on her, and I would follow these outdated old-fashioned rules that she taught me, even when I was around others, even though it clearly bothered them, I to some extent still do to this day, because I was only focused on keeping her happy. If someone else liked me or didn't like me, you know, that didn't matter as much. It was always if she approved. I should maybe also say, when she was happy, she was extremely loving and caring towards me. I got a lot of warmth and love from both of my parents through my childhood. And in spite of that, this still, this emotional baggage remains. My point is, it, this can happen even when things mostly look good, even when you know deep down that that parent loves the child and most of the time is good, most of the time is not enough. If a child does not feel safe at home with their parents, something is wrong. A child needs to feel safe during their childhood. She died when I was 12 and since then I've tried to find other people to replace her, to people that I could please so that they would give me the kind of warmth and love 
or at the very least acceptance, that I felt from her when things were good. I don't know if I need to tell you that that is not a good basis for a relationship or even a friendship. I am now 24 and a half, trying to work past I suppose I have been for a long time because I've known this for years, but it remains. And whenever a woman or a girl complains near me and I feel like I might be part of the reason why she's upset, some of that feeling comes back. Even when I just make a mistake. I inherited her perfectionism. Don't know if it was genetically, it was certainly environmentally, you know. My father is a perfectionist as well. Even when I make a mistake, like a spelling error or something, I it, it torments me. I feel like what happened when she got upset will happen again. And I know logically that she's dead, and I know logically that there isn't someone around who's going to harass me at length for a typo, but it remains. The psychological impact remains. Maybe diminished, but it controls many of my actions to this day. I guess that's it for this one. If you need clarification, if there was some point I could have stated clearer, please ask. And I hope that this can help stop. People in general from feeling unsafe whenever they don't need 